when you're involved in this industry, you lose your humanity. You're no longer treated as a human being by 80% of people out there. You're now, now scum. Like they may want to do certain things with you, but then you're still scum. And like if they may be thrilled to have a roll in the sack with you, but when they leave, when you leave, they're going to want to burn the sheets. You can take every other category, every other idea, every other thought, basically happiness and success in life all boils down to what are the quality of your bonds with other people. Having anything to do with the adult industry hacks away those bonds so you're isolated, alienated, um, pushed away to the margins and not treated as a human being. That's a recipe for disaster for me and for anyone else. Hookers are hookers. I mean, hookers are people who are looking for a quick buck with the least amount of effort, so they earn tricks. And uh, being a porn star is just like, uh, you know, the, the world's oldest profession. So it's, it's, not, it's not that complicated. Uh, r reality is hard. A lot of people blame, blame the industry for their problems, but uh, then they get out in the real world and find lots of problems in, in the real world too. I mean, people who are well adjusted and have good life skills, and who are doing something meaningful and constructive with their lives, they're not in the industry to begin with. So the people who are in the industry are really broken, twisted souls without a lot of great job skills, and uh, you know they're turbulent souls. So they're always going to be twisting and turning in the wind. Is it possible to lead a normal life after you get out of it? This is forever. This is the scarlet letter. It, it never goes away. You'll be dealing with the the implications of this forever. What, what tends to happen is that it isolates you. And so you, you develop a, a fear of being rejected again and again and again. And so you put up walls between you and other people and you isolate yourself and you don't join communities. And when you're isolated, you, you're less likely to suffer rejection, but you're also isolated and living on the edge. So. Uh, you can never get away from this. There's no solution. Here are some people we talk to who are leading normal lives and are doing pretty good. Like, how the hell would you really know? Like, how would you know what really goes on in their life at 2 a.m.? The, the torment, the, you know, how would you know? Are they going to tell you about all the times they've been rejected and isolated and, and, the, and the horror and the shame that, that their children confront? and and that their, their spouses confront and the, the shame that they've put their families through and, and, and relationships that have been permanently broken. I mean, all the, all the burned bridges behind them because they've done sex work. You know, most families aren't proud when their daughters become hookers.